my inventory. First things first, I would like to jump straight into some Tinker's Construct stuff. So last episode, we did create ourselves the Hammer Time, and this thing is awesome. I believe I lost it and had to remake it, um, but I will show you how much redstone I have on it now. I've actually placed 150 redstone on it, which is the maximum level. Let's go ahead and rename this as I am at it. And, um, yeah, so now, oh, you can't actually rename it. That is a shame. Oh, well, I suppose I just forgot to rename it when I remade it. I think I got killed at the bottom of the stairs, and I ended up losing it, and I had to remake it. I've wasted a lot of iron. I've lost a bunch of those things, as you can see. But also, I have a good bit of iron down in the basement cooking up, just for the pure fact of we're going to get some more sweet tools this episode. So let's go ahead and hop into you. And as you can see, I did create a tough binding cast, an excavator head, and a broad axe. Now, all of these are going to go into about two different tools that I would really, really like to get to help me out. And within my inventory, you can see I have a few iron plates and a few tough rods. So we are definitely going to be making something new. So I'm going to go ahead and grab out all three of these things right here. The rest of everything else is pre-made. So let's go ahead and run down here. And the first thing I would like to make is something that's going to help us go through dirt. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a tough tool binding, which is the little cross that you see right here. And now that we have that poured, let's go ahead and make ourselves the excavator head. All right, so the excavator head is not all that expensive. I believe it's about three. Let me go ahead and make sure of that. Let's see, broad axe, maybe it's eight, you know? It may be eight now that I think about it. Let's see, eight, 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 eight. Yep, it is eight. So these tools are actually rather expensive when it comes to iron, but they are definitely, most definitely worth it, and that is why I love them. So let's see. Let's go ahead and make sure that we have everything that we need. I do not quite think we have enough iron in here, so I'm going to throw the last little bit that I have into there, and I'm also going to grab ourselves... A, you know what? We have everything. We're going to need a iron plate, a iron tough rod, an iron tough binding, and the excavator head. So let's go ahead and run upstairs. And now what we should be able to do is hop into our tool forge, add ourselves, or click on the excavator. And as you see, it affects a 3x3 three three area. Let's go ahead and throw in the excavator head. Uh oh, excavator head the iron plate, and the tough tool rod, or actually the binding and the tough tool rod. Now this is going to give ourselves an excavator. I'm just going to stop naming the tools for now. I will be naming them later once we get some awesome ones, but let's go ahead and test this out. Now I do not want to test it out where any water is, so I'm thinking here is going to be an all right place. So sweet, now we have a tool that's actually going to clear out a 3x3 three three area. Now that is going to be so helpful in mining because as you can see, I very easily cleared all this out, but then you run into gravel and it's just a pain in the butt. Now also, something that I really don't like about this mod is you can't suppress the ability to um, mine the dirt in a 3x3 three three area, which I suppose is... I don't know, a setback. I think the mod developer said that he did it like that for a reason, um, just because it would be super overpowered if you had the ability to use it as a normal shovel as well as a not normal shovel, if that makes sense. All right, so in the last episode, I do not remember if I showed how to repair tools, so I would like to show you guys that. You're going to want to open your tool forge, place your hammer in the anvil hammer looking thing and what we're going to want to do is place your iron or whatever you use to repair with right here now you can actually do it in both slots i believe to do it just twice as fast and you just want to keep doing it until we are fully repaired so sweet that is fully repaired let's see how much damage this can take all right so 2010 and how much damage can you take 2526 so that's pretty dang good and you should actually be able to add redstone to both of those so that is always nice now we need to make ourselves another tool binding and another broad axe head now, actually, after I do this, there is something else that I would really, really love to accomplish in this episode, and that is deal with our experience. Now, 
We've been dealing with experience for a long, long time since vanilla, obviously, but there's never really been a way to store your experience and not have to worry about wasting it when you die. Now that there is, we would definitely like to go ahead and get into that, and sadly, we don't have the version of extra utilities quite yet, I do not believe. Let's see. Is it this mod or is it open blocks? I actually believe it's open blocks. We don't have the latest version of open blocks yet, but that is just fine. Let's see, is it in here? Um, yes, so open blocks adds a bunch of things, if it's the right mod, let me make sure, okay, so it does add a bunch of things, but the tank has not quite yet updated, and therefore we cannot do it that way, so I will just not talk about that, because it kind of makes me jealous, but we will be doing a way, um, that we're going to be able to take our XP away from ourselves, and make it where we no longer are vulnerable, so that's going to be super sweet, Let's go ahead and make ourselves a lumber axe. So all you have to do is click on lumber axe, grab yourself an iron large plate, an iron tool rod, an iron tough binding, and your iron broad axe. And now you have yourself the iron lumber axe. We have completed our set of awesome tools. And let's go find a tree to test this bad boy out on. Now this is going to be super sweet because it is so annoying having to do this by hand. Now this is basically the decapitator mod, but it is not quite as overpowered because it will not do super huge trees and it will not clear all the leaves at the same time. So I really, really love this axe and it's going to make my life a lot easier and hopefully will take a lot of the wood cutting off of the screen. So that's going to be great. Now, as I said, we're going to go ahead and get to work on making ourselves the awesome experience thing. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. Now, the way this experience thing is going to work is we're going to stand on top of a grate, and it's going to empty into it. So let's go ahead and grab out our sapphire pick, and I'm thinking this right here is as good as a place as any. So let's go ahead and block out the water. Let's see. Let's use our excavator. And we still need to dig down just a little bit. This is not our excavator. This is. All right, here we go now. Right here. And yeah, there we go. All right, let's build back up. And now we should have a good amount of space to work for our thing. So here is what I am thinking. I would really love our tank to come up right here. Now it's kind of sad that there is going to be a hole in the back, but I should be able to fix that soon enough. Let's go ahead and think how we are going to do this. Let's open up this and let's see. We're going to make ourselves something called, and can I find the P? Hello. There we go. All right, so XP, we're going to make an XP drain. Now, an XP drain is not all that complicated to make. It's just some iron bars. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves about six pieces of iron, and I can't quite do that right now. Let's see. Six pieces of iron coming right up. There we go. And then let's make ourselves some iron bars, and there we go. So now just fill up the entire slot, and you have yourselves an XP drain. Okay, so now that you have this, how are you going to empty it into anything? Well, that is quite simple, and what I would really like to do is make ourselves one of the tanks from the same mod, but currently we do not have any obsidian. So, hmm, how can we fix that? Well, there is something called the Igneous Extruder, and what it will allow you to do is you can actually create obsidian without having to have yourself a diamond pick. So I would like to show you guys how to do that as well, and then we will be able to make something that is going to be super awesome. So let's go ahead and get everything that we need for this piston. No big deal, I believe. I actually have everything in my inventory besides cobble for that. I think I have enough. I don't have enough iron either, so let's go ahead and pull out some iron. We can throw that in there for now. And now we should be able to make ourselves our piston from vanilla, no problem. And we also need one of you, so let's grab some iron and some glass. Now the great thing about the setup that I currently have is no problem, I am capable of creating glass very, very quickly just by throwing cobblestone in the top and it will work its way through. So we should have everything to make you now, I am hoping. 
Let's see, machine frame. Ah, I need some gold. Let's go ahead and do that. I would love, love for the mod developer to make it where when you try to um, try to craft something and you don't have everything you need, it'll actually tell you that you don't have everything. I think that would be awesome, um, but it may be super hard to do, so I don't know. That would be awesome, though. A super awesome feature. All right, so now I believe we need some tin, and I, I do already have a pneumatic servo, so that is good. Let's grab tin. Tin has changed color so many times. It used to be that little silver color that was a little bit off from that, and that was my favorite color. I think that it has been. All right, so now we have ourselves an igneous extruder. Now, I believe this actually needs to run off of energy, or does it? Let's see, information. It may not need to run off of energy. Basically, all it needs is a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. So let's go ahead and fill up water, but where are we going to get our lava from? Well, it just so happens that before we started the episode, I ran out and found ourselves a place to grab some lava. So I'm just going to go ahead and run down there super quickly, and when we get back, we should have a good amount of lava. Let's see, is this where it was? I believe it was a little bit lower. Um, I would like to show you, though, because I did find something rather interesting down there. Let me go ahead and grab my timer back because it seemed to have turned off. There we go. We're at the 11-minute mark, by the way, in case you were wondering. And right now I'm eating something from Natura. These are blackberries, and I really, really love blackberries because you saw that while I was eating them, it wasn't actually filling up my health bar or my food bar. Um, but it was filling up saturation. So if you don't know how Minecraft works, the saturation actually um, is how much you have eaten and how good of the food. So basically, if you eat pizza opposed to an actual good meal, that's what it means. All right, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a few buckets of lava. And I'm actually going to make a tank, and once we get back, I'll make the tank, and then I'll come back and completely fill that tank up with some lava. So let's run back home. Let's see. There is actually another spot of lava across the way, but I just wanted to grab a tiny bit of lava so that I could show you guys that we are actually able to create obsidian without having a need to. And also, I installed a better sprint in case you were wondering. That's why I'm not pausing without sprinting. Um, better Sprint's actually super awesome, um, especially for modded Minecraft because there are some creatures out there like the Hecate that can run you down and it does help you get away from them a little bit easier. They are still pretty fast, but no big deal. Let's go ahead and open up the interface. Now you do see we can create cobblestone. Let's go ahead and throw a bucket of lava in here and let's see what happens. So as in normal Minecraft, if you actually have a lava source that is flowing and a water source that is flowing, it will actually create some cobblestone. Now you can actually make stone, but you will exhaust the bucket of water and you can make obsidian, but it will exhaust both. So let's go ahead and take out our cobblestone and click on obsidian. Now we should in theory end up with a bucket or not a bucket but a piece of obsidian and it works basically just like it would in normal minecraft let's go ahead and throw our other bucket into here and then i will go ahead and create ourselves um the tank that i was talking about <coughs> sorry about that okay so let's go ahead and type in hardened tank and let's see, can I spell here? I don't think so. Hardened, oh, definitely not spelling. Hardened tank. Okay, so we're going to want one of these guys. We're going to need a little bit of invar. Now, how in the world do you get invar? Well, you're going to need two pieces of iron and four pieces of ferrous to do so. So let's go ahead, and I already have the pulverized ferrous and the pulverized iron. To pulverize it, just go ahead and throw it right in your pulverizer or your macerator, whichever you have. All right, so let's go ahead and take the iron and place it here, like so. And let's go ahead and take our ferrous and place it here. Now we have ourselves the invar blend. So what you want to do with the invar blend is throw it directly into your redstone furnace. Now, an easier way to make this is if you have yourselves an induction smelter. Now, that way you can just throw in the iron and the ferrous, and it will automatically make yourselves invar. So that's really cool. You're also going to need a piece of copper and four pieces of glass, and I believe then we will have everything we need. So let's go ahead and say hardened tank, and actually let's run over here. 
and let's say hardened tank, and we don't quite have everything. What else are we going to need? Invar, glass, and copper. I believe we have everything. Did I not grab the glass? I don't think I did. Let's see, four pieces of glass, and portable tank. There we go. So now we have ourselves a hardened portable tank. Now what is so great about this thing is probably what you're asking. Well, what I really love about it is what we should be able to do now is let's grab ourselves a few buckets of water. Let's go ahead and say one and two, and then let's just right click on here and let's go ahead and throw another one in here. All right, so now there are 2,000 millibuckets of water inside of this right here. Now, say we wanted to move this and say it's a normal build craft tank. Well, if we broke a normal build craft tank, you lose all of the liquid inside. But if you shift click with the crescent hammer, you're actually picking up the portable tank with all of its contents. So that is actually what I plan on doing with all of the lava down here. And I plan on filling this entire thing up with about 16 buckets of lava and that should be enough to go to the nether and to make our XP drain. So I will see you guys once I have this filled up with lava. Alrighty, so we are back and I now have a completely filled up hardened tank and I would actually like to see if there is something I can do with this. I would like to press it to output and I didn't think it would. I figured that what we would end up needing is a um, a liquid duct or a fluid duct, which I believe I do not have any of. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and throw it down and continuously put our lava into the container like this. So that's no big deal. But if you guys did notice, you can go back a few seconds and see. For some reason, there is a little bit of glowstone but down where I actually found that lava which I thought was rather strange. I have absolutely no idea why it was like that. But as you see, we just created ourselves some obsidian without having to have a diamond pickaxe and not having to waste three diamonds if you don't really want to quite yet, even though we do actually have 27 um, diamonds already. Um, that's, that's priceless. I mean, not having to waste it is just awesome. And yeah, that is really, really useful early on in the game, being able to create such awesome things out of obsidian without diamonds. So enough babbling on about that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves something called a tank. Now this tank is actually from the open blocks mod. And as you see, we need a few glass panes, which is no big deal. Let's go ahead and do this. And then what else did it say that we needed? I hope I have everything that we need. Yep, just the obsidian. All right, so now what we're going to do is make ourselves some of you. And then what we should be able to do is place obsidian in the corners. And we now have ourselves two of these tanks. Now what I'm actually going to do is place a tank here and a place a tank here. Now you're going, okay, now why, why did you just place two tanks? Well, it's fine and dandy to be able to place the tank here, but you're really not going to be able to see it. So what I was thinking we could do is make it where the tank is 100% visible. So what I'm actually going to do is let's go ahead and grab ourselves a building block. And I'm going to make ourselves a few more fluid ducts just because we need them to transport our experience. And let's see, fluid ducts. I did forget the recipe somehow. And fluid duct right here. We're going to need some glass and some copper. No big deal at all. Actually, some glass or copper and some lead, which is definitely no big deal. Some copper. And let's grab six. And let's actually grab two, I think. Yeah, that should be great right there. And I'm going to half you and place lead right here. All right, so now we have our opaque fluid ducts. Let's go ahead and dig down here, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and take our XP drain, place it on top of the tank, and here in a second, I will actually be able to demonstrate the possibilities that this XP drain does have. All right, so let's just go ahead and step onto the XP drain, and as you see, it is actually draining all of my experience levels and placing them directly into the tank, so that is really, really awesome. But now we really don't have any place to put this liquid. It's flowing around. It's not draining. It does say we have 7,780 millibuckets of our fluid. So now what we really need to do 
is what I would like to do is take our fluid ducts, place you here, and what we're going to do is run it all the way over to here. Now what I need to do is make ourselves another pneumatic servo. Now these things are super sweet because they allow us to do things in super small spaces that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So let's go ahead and grab some glass and some of this, and I thought we needed some iron, not quite sure. Yeah, we needed a little bit. By the way, I did go ahead and use some of the Iron Tanks mod. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind too much. The Iron Tanks, or Iron Chest mod is super awesome. I'll go ahead and craft an upgrade for you guys because it is super, super simple. Now, say you want to upgrade from an iron chest to, or from a wooden chest to an iron chest, all you have to do is surround a wooden plank with an iron, or a bunch of iron, and then just go over to the chest and shift click it, and then you do the same thing for gold, and the same thing for diamond, and it's awesome because it expands your inventory to an awesome sized chest compared to, eh, kind of a not awesome size chest so that is really cool and i love the mod for what it does so let's go ahead and dig down here just a little bit more all right so you see we have this piped up all nice and it's really not exporting from this tank to the second one now how we're going to fix this is let's smack it with the crescent hammer and as you see this right here is not quite red now if you just wanted to use a lever you could very easily do that let's see do we have these things to do that on us right now Let's see, I believe we do. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a quick little lever. And here we go. Now we have ourselves a lever. Okay, so if you really wanted to be cheap about it, all you have to do is place a lever here and it's going to start draining. But that's not really what we want to do. So let's go ahead and minimize the space used. And what I would like to do is a pneumatic servo must be installed for control. Let's go ahead and install ourselves the pneumatic servo. And now you want to click on it with an open hand, nothing in your hand, and say um, ignored redstone signal. Now what that's going to do is directly transport anything and open the valve directly up to the thing above. So that is great. And the only difference between opaque fluid ducts and non-opaque fluid ducts is they basically don't allow you to see the items that's in it. And I believe, let's see, I believe they actually tell you what liquid's in there on Wayla. I'm not quite sure of that, but let's go ahead and see how much obsidian we have now. We do need to add a bit of water, and I would actually like to automate this if we could. I'm not quite sure if we can or not, but we'll have to see. So how much time do we have left? We have about three minutes left, and there is actually one more thing that I would like to do. Let's go ahead and make ourselves something called a packager. Okay, so the packager is made from pack or factorization. Let's go ahead and grab um, a good bit of iron because we need a few pieces of iron just to make ourselves a piston. Um, just a vanilla recipe. Let's see. Here we go. There is a piston. Let's throw all of these in here just because they're taking up some inventory space. Now we are actually going to need a crafting table. Let's see. Can we grab all of you really quickly? crafting table and now what we should be able to do is make ourselves a packager now we may want a few more packagers to be honest with you so let's go ahead and make a piston and one more of the crafting tables now what the packager does is it takes any items that you do have let's see we need some more iron i believe yeah that's what we need it takes any items that you may happen to have a lot of, and if there, if there are any recipes that will allow you to make them into smaller objects, it's going to take those and easily allow you to do so. So let's make ourselves, let's see, a couple more pneumatic servos, and I believe, how do you make those? I don't even remember. Pneumatic servos are a super easy recipe, but I continuously forget for some reason. Oh, glass, I knew that. Okay, let's grab some more glass, and I would like to cook up some more glass, so let's throw the rest of you in there, and let's grab ourselves two more pneumatic servos, and let's also grab ourselves a few more item ducts. Okay, so item duct, no big deal right here. Okay, 
lead with some tin. I don't think we have any item ducks, so we are going to make a few more lead with some tin. And let's just make as many as we can get because we will need to make them eventually. And there we go. We have ourselves 18 item ducks and three servos. It sounds perfect to me. All right, so say right here we want to enter our objects. So here is what I'm thinking. We're going to place all of our dirt and cobble and all of that right here in a chest. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest, and we may run over a little bit on this episode. If we do, I would like to apologize, but we really need to get this done to fix our cobblestone overflow problem. All right, so let's go ahead and place a chest here, and what I'd like to do is take ourselves an item duct and place it right here. And as you can see, now our thing is connected. So that's great and all, but what we really need to do is take our crescent rich or wrench and why are you not connecting? Let's see. Fluid duct. Oh, I clicked with the fluid duct. That is my bad. Let's take our item duct and as you see it is connecting and this is actually blue. Let's go ahead and make it where it's red if I did not shift click. All right, let's make it where it's red. And now that it's red, what I would like to do is take ourselves a pneumatic servo and we do need to click on it with an open hand and we just want to say ignore redstone. So what that's going to do is it's not, it's going to say, hey, no matter what, I'm pulling whatever's in you right out. So that is definitely what we're going to want. And now let's go ahead and hop out of this hole. We shouldn't need to go back down there for anything. And I'm just going to go ahead and break you. And let's see, fix this. And okay, so now let's dig down a little bit and preferably I would like to come out right here and actually we need one more chest and then this should be finished up very quickly. Let's see, chest and here we go. So this is where all of our cobblestone and dirt and gravel and sand is going to end up. Let's place our chest here and now what we're going to do is place the packager down and what you will see is if you take nine cobblestone and place it into a packager what it's actually going to do to that cobblestone is package it all into compressed cobblestone let's go ahead and grab out all of our cobblestone which is um just great and let's take all of you and what I like to do is throw it into here so as you saw immediately it was pulled out which is quite awesome and actually you can do the same thing with dirt and everything but for now we're just going to do it with cobblestone and now the next thing that we are going to do is say crescent hammer here and let's see we should be able to install a pneumatic servo and yeah we're having issues again let's go ahead and throw you out open with an open hand ignore redstone and what we're going to do is place another packager and what it's going to do is take, uh oh, it's not going to take the compressed cobble out, is it? What might be the issue is it probably has to pull out of the bottom. Let's go ahead and check and see if that is the case. Let's go down another one. And I may have placed a fluid duct, to be honest. I wasn't paying attention. All right, now let's place our pneumatic servo. And now let's place our, um, where did it go? The other packager. What happened? Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's place our second packager here, and now let's install, we already have servo, okay. Let's go ahead and right click, ignore you, and are you not pulling out? You don't want to pull out? Did you pull out? Okay, so as you see right there, what it did is it has to actually pull out of the bottom, which is really no big deal. We should be able to do it just as easy either way. And so as you saw, now we have two pneumatic servos installed and they're automatically taking our cobblestone and turning it straight into um, the compressed cobblestone. So now what we need to do is install one more servo right here and just ignore redstone signal. And as you will see right here in a few seconds, we should end up with some cobblestone unless I pulled it out. Let's see. Let's go back up here and let's say all right it's not pulling out why are you not pulling out again okay make sure you are actually setting those to red even though you do place the thing on there 
and we should be receiving our compressed cobblestone here shortly and there you go double compressed cobblestone so now all we have to do is run directly over to here let's just go ahead and empty our inventory and let's grab all of the cobblestone that we are capable of as you see there is the compressed cobblestone from before and what we should be able to do is throw all of you into here and now all of our cobblestone issues have been solved and sweet so now once we go mining just throw all of our cobble here and down here we will end up with a bunch of compressed cobblestone and sweet so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here as you see we are getting our cobblestone compressed we did get a bunch of awesome tools this episode and I would like to make one of these with fortune on it, but we'll do that in a later episode. These tools are super awesome, even though we are getting flooded with water now. Let's go ahead and um, repair it with some of our awesome new cobblestone that we have created automatically, by the way. And we also have ourselves the Lumber Axe, which is going to chop down trees with a breeze. That's totally the slogan. Um, yeah, and these are actually the berry bushes. I did want to make sure to show you guys those. You will find those in the wild. The blackberry bushes, in general, are the easiest ones to find. I believe I found about 51 of them. As you can see, that's about all of them. I found 51 of them in one area, so that was super, super awesome. And yeah, we also automated it to where our experience goes straight into this tank right here, and that is awesome. We got a bunch of things done this episode, and I have an afro, so that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below, as well as the subscribe button if you have not done so already. And thank you guys so much for watching. This has been PG Mining 10. Peace.